Hello folks, Legion Archery here. I'll be tracing out a knock on this piece of black locust. I'm going to go ahead and place something like that on there. Uh, what you want to remember when you're laying down your knock, it's important for you to know your distance, how much distance between the tip and where the knock ends, and then how much distance. You got to make sure you mark the center mark the center all the way to the top and that's where your lines are gonna meet up there in the center like that that's very important because if you don't have a center line you're gonna end up end up with a crooked knock and your string is not gonna align even though this piece of wood is pretty crooked um, it's gonna end up aligning it right in the center once I'm done with it uh, because I'm gonna do the heat treating but you're you always you always want to align your knocks at the end correctly so it's important for you to go ahead and mark your center line and then as you can see I marked another line here where I wanted my division to be so that's pretty much how you lay out your knock uh, now I'm going to go ahead right, and cut so we're it out here back. the tools that I'm going to go ahead and use are going to be two saws I like I love using this Japanese saw because it cuts really nicely it's very sharp and so usually the side that I use is this this side this is usually for a cross cross cutting and this is for ripping um, but you want to use this because it's finer as well so I'm gonna use this first and I'll show you what I'm gonna go ahead and do on this side so I'm just gonna cut right here next to my line Side just just beyond that line so that you can go ahead and with a rasp you can go ahead and uh, and and taper that a little bit more and make sure it looks it looks the way you want it make sure it looks nice so now I'm going to do the other side and I jump on this side and I start my cut got that I'm definitely gonna have to go over it with with my rasp so I'll be doing something like that on both sides so pretty much that's what I'm gonna be doing later on refining that but <clears throat> the hardest part to cut from these knots are, is gonna be this area right here and the reason for that is because if you see the shape of it 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 kind of has it, it digs in so that the string can rest on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut I'm just gonna cut in there with this and then I'm gonna go over it and refine it with a sharper a sharper tool and I'll show you the finished product once I do it so you just want to make sure to get in there with this Make sure you get right in there. You can use this or a rat tail file works as well. So I'm gonna go on this side now. I'm, I'm, I still have a, a little bit, a little bit to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, take it out of the vise and I'm gonna do it without the vise. Um, but first, I I just wanna dig in on this side. that wood now. 
actually smells nice. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and refine it and I'll show you the finished product. So I'm right here and I'm going I'm finishing up the knock as you can see. It's nice and smooth now. I went ahead and I worked it in with so I had this sharp, very sharp knife and I just went ahead and and that's how I got the contour there. And then after that, after I got this contour, I went ahead and I, well, I actually, I, I did, I, I had the saw, I did it with the saw first, and then I got the contour with that blade, and then now I'm just going over it with this sandpaper. So um, that's pretty much how you rough out your knocks. I decided to show you guys this type of knock because it's the most complicated, it's one of the more complicated knocks. Um, typically, you're going to be making knocks um, and the saw that I have that, that I showed you just now, which is kind of a rat tail, it has kind of a, what we call a rat tail, this is actually just a bit that comes with the saw, or a, um, you can buy you can buy one of these at Home Depot, or, you know, these are very useful, you go ahead and you can make your knots on the other, other types of knots with this very easily, so i rather use this than, than anything else really. Um, this is a very good uh, tool to have, so uh, I would suggest you get something like this if you're going to be making any type of uh, decorative knot. So, pretty much, you can see it ended up looking like what we had over at the, on the book, so I'm pretty happy with it. You know, I just, obviously, I'm still going to work it in with some more sandpaper and refine it once I finish up this bow, but uh, pretty much that's it. Thanks for watching.